Hey there, Wootsuit family, it's Ryan. So, two weeks ago, I didn't post a video, and that was largely because I couldn't really bring myself to be in a position to do it. I was too busy, I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, but I did know that I wanted to respond to something that Jim had said when he was talking about doing things twice. There's this tension I sometimes feel where you have to ensure that you have everything right and ready to go before you start a project. In the cooking world, this is called mise en place. It's the idea that everything is ready to go in their nice discreet little packages so that you can get it done right the first time. At work one time, somebody used the phrase, well, we didn't have enough time to do it right, but we had enough time to do it twice. And I feel like there's some truth to that, but I think Jim's also onto something that's really important to keep in mind. I was watching a video of a keynote address given by Seth Godin one time, and he's speaking to this idea of making art, and for him, making art is usually doing things the first time. You, there's no blueprint, you have to figure it out, and you have to overcome all of those obstacles that get in your way of making things for the first time, all of the, the doubt and worry that you have. And he draws this analogy to a plane that's coming in for a landing, and when it's off course, and he, he summarizes it with a really interesting turn of phrase that I wanted to commemorate here. He says, we do it wrong until we do it right. And I think that brings me a lot of comfort. That idea that you don't need to have it right. And you don't need to be perfect the first time. He says, yes, like we need to ensure that we're being loyal to our customers. And Jim is right. You don't want engineers to be doing it wrong until you do it right. But in much in the same way Jim talks about that's what practice is or that's what school is for. It's where you have that opportunity to try things out and test it and get things wrong and get that feedback and you just keep doing it wrong until you get it right. And when I'm trying to make videos and I'm trying to set up the perfect shots or the perfect lighting or get my camera to do what I needed to do, Oftentimes that final perfect shot is not really what's important. It's not really what it's about. Instead, it's about going through the process and learning and discovering, doing it wrong until you do it right. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, stay awesome.